everybody this is David coming at you with another video um, previous video I did on the P mod encoder the rotary encoder I dug up the old uh, digilent project and brought it in and studied it made the circuit diagram showed you working on the basis 3 and I'm thinking you know what what can you actually use a rotary encoder for well you know you're encoding different states or different stuff so I'm gonna use it to encode different color schemes on the VGA screen so so here's the circuit <clears throat> it's the same excuse me same circuit as before except I add this bottom part here I'm going to use the clock to drive the VGA controller and the pixel generation that 5-bit encoder value from 0 to 19 is going to go into the seven segment control it also going to go into pixel generation and then also the switch that turns on and off the seven segment display I'm going to use that switch in here to also chain to alter the screen uh, let me take you over to the code okay here I am in Vivado uh, you can see the module hierarchy over here same as uh, from the circuit we just saw so I took that same exact project and I'm just adding that VGA controller that I've used um, since I've created it and then I created a pixel gen so really I'm just going to cover the pixel gen circuit you can see all the modules up here so if you haven't seen the pmod ink video I cover all these other files in that you can go back and check that out so here's the pixel gen circuit um, got the clock reset the video on and X and Y coming from the VGA controller that 5-bit encoder value coming from the encoder module, the switch coming from the rotary encoder itself, and then driving the RGBs out right here for the VGA. I just set up a bunch of color values. Um, so I have 20 different values. So I just created 20 different colors by mixing, by making red, green, and blue, and then mixing them of different values. So I've got F here is 15, A is 10, and then I'm using five. So the values just get weaker as they go on. And then here's a couple of, I got a couple of gray values in here too. So I'm just gonna put a rectangle in the center of the screen and it's gonna have these values here. It's gonna be 320 pixels by 240 pixels. So now I gotta create all the boundaries. Um, I'm just going to start the register for the left and top location right here at these pixel locations on the screen. Set up the the right and bottom boundary based off the left and top, which is based off of these registers. Same thing from in previous VGA videos. You're you're just setting up your boundary for your rectangle. And I have the rectangle on signal. Um, yep, right there. Same done before and then just the circuitry for controlling the RGB register so if we're not in the display area we're just going to send it black and then if we're in within the rectangle so if rectangle is on it's I'm going to use the case of that encoder value coming in from 0 to 19 and then give each value a color and then down here for outside of the rectangle area if if the switch is on and we're not in the rectangle area then I'm going to turn the background white else it's going to be black here's the top module just ties everything together and then here's the RGB buffer oh, I can expand that um, and then going into the constraints file, we got the 100 megahertz clock, two LEDs for blinking if it's going left or right. I added a reset button in for the VGA controller and pixel gen. They didn't have a reset on, their, on any of these for their project. Um, seven segment displays, segments, the anodes, four pins on PMOD header JB for the PMOD ENC, the VGA connector, the RGBs, the H-Sync, and V-Sync. All right, let me, I've already programmed it and everything. Let me show you it working. Okay, here's the part on the basis three. Got the rotary encoder here in PMOD JB. It's in position zero. Um, these two LEDs down here are for the left and right, and the button C is for the reset. 
Um, also, the switch right here turns on and off the seven segment display. And then as I turn it right, you can see that right LED blink. Um, and then it increments. And then if I turn it left, it decrements. Same from before. Now let me show you it working on the screen. Uh oh, also, if I push this, it resets the position. So let me show you the screen now. Okay, here's the project on the screen. I did get a new screen. So my other one was wacky and it never really worked. Hey, what's going on there? Okay, it's back. But you can see right here I'm missing, I had the Frogger display on here thinking, hoping it would work. But this is actually supposed to be on the top here. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll deal with that later. But you can see here, I've got the basis three right here with the, uh, with the rotary encoder. If I turn the switch off, it's turning the background to black. And then as I turn this, it's going to rotate through the uh, 20 different colors on the screen. I don't know if it's better to see in the black or the white background. There's the grays, back to the red. Now if I get somewhere in the middle and I push the button, I go back to position zero, I'm back to red. Pretty neat, huh? Well, there you go. That's one way you could use the PMOD encoder for encoding. Thanks for watching.